Hi, darlings. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for being here. If you're new to my channel, you're very much welcome. Please click that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys how to make this detachable handkerchief peplum, which is very simple and easy to make. It's beginners friendly and it can be used to accentuate a plain dress or a plain skirt and blouse. So without further ado, we'll go into the tutorial proper. Now the first thing you're going to do now is to fold out your fabric like you're going to be cutting a full circle skirt, which is to fold out your fabric in four pieces. As you can see, the first fold has been done already, creating two pieces already. And when you fold for the second time, it will give you four pieces. So now I'm going to show you how to measure out the fabric you're going to be using for this. Now, as you can see, this fabric is a perfect square, which means that all sides are equal. So I will be sharing with you how to take out this measurement on your fabric. Now to determine the length of your square line, you're going to be adding the radius of the waistline of the skirt you're going to use plus the full length of the peplum you want to achieve at the end of the day. For instance, the full circumference of the waistline of the model I'm going to be using is 26 inches. Now, according to the chart on the screen, the radius of the waistline ought to be 418 inch. But due to the fact that I want more volume at the waistline to make the pleats there, I'm going to be approximating 418 to 4 and a half inches. Then, and I'm going to add two inches additionally to that, making it six and a half. And that settles it for the radius of the skirt I'm going to be using. Now, for the full length of the peplum I want to make is eight inches. But I'm going to be adding one inch to that for sewing allowance. So now I have six and a half inches plus nine inches for the full length of the peplum plus seam allowance which leaves us at 15 and a half so for the square i measured out i used 15 and a half to measure it out now from the closed area of the folded fabric i'm going to be measuring out six and a half inches for the radius of the waistline as you can see i'm marking it right there then after marking it out, you can go ahead and then cut this out like this. Now after cutting out the waistline, we are going to be opening up one of these folded areas for the back side of the peplum. So I'm going to leave this for the front and I'm going to open this up for the back side. So darlings, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please click that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you have enjoyed this video so far, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you. So now after cutting out the opening for the back side of the peplum, the next thing that we're going to do now is to use this particular one that we've cut already to cut out the lining for it now as you can see i've cut out the lining for the main fabric so i'm going to go over and show you how to sew this now assuming this is the right side of your fabric you open it up like this you're going to be placing your lining right side to right side to each other then the next thing you're going to do is to start sewing half inch right from the center back area right here all the way to this point and then make sure you observe the square line while sewing, okay? You keep your needle on point, shift your fabric to the other side and sew all the way to the center back area. And at this point that we have slit right here, you're not going to sew it yet. I'm going to show you how to sew it later on. Now after sewing, you should have something like this. And next is to cut off this angular area and you repeat the same process on all four sides of the square. Now the next thing you're going to do is to secure the bottom part of your peplum just as you would on a circle dress or a circle skirt. So what you're going to do right now is to open up this part and this half inch that you sew on, you're going to be sewing it 
onto the lining part of your fabric like this you're going to place it like this and you're going to sew it all the way all around your square and after doing that you should have something like this now we're going to be closing this open area at the center back by stitching half inch on both sides of the peplum from the wrong side of the fabric then after that I'm going to be flipping it over to the front side of the fabric and you have something like this next I'm going to be joining both the lining and the main fabrics around the waistline by stitching it by half inch now after doing that you should have something like this and next we are going to prepare the waistband for this peplum so I have a detailed tutorial on how to make a waistband and I'll put the link in the description box below so that you check it out later as you can see I have both the front and the back piece right here and for the back piece there's a zip allowance to it but I will show you how to modify this zip allowance to create an overlapping that you'll be needing for this detachable peplum so let's go over to it so right now I've cut out the waistband for the front and the back piece and I also cut out the line for each of them and then if you also desire to add interface you can do that already now I'm going to set the front piece aside and show you how to modify this area of the zip allowance to create an overlap for your waistband now I've opened up the waistband for the back piece at the right side of the fabric now this is the left hand side while this is the right side of the waistband now I want the left side to overlap the right side so what I'm going to do right now is to leave the zip allowance just as it is on the left hand side while on the right hand side I'm going to be modifying the zip allowance by just taking half inch for finishing the center back so what I'm going to do is that from this stroke right here as you're seeing it from this stroke here I'm just going to mark half inch outward like that I'm going to mark half inch right there and cut it out and that will serve as a seam allowance to finish off the center back of my waistband so here I've marked it out already and I'm going to cut the remaining off and that is the modification now also make sure that you effect the same modification on your lining and interface if you are using any now the next is to place your lining on your main fabric right side to right side to each other and then the next thing that you're going to do is to stitch by half inch on this area above the waistband on all sides of your waistband and after doing that the next thing you're going to do is to open it up after sewing it like this you're going to open it up at the right side of your fabric like this and then the next thing you are going to do is to take each of these back piece and place it side seam to each other right side to right side of the fabric and then stitch it at a side seam and then you're going to do the same for the other side now after doing it this is what you should have now the next thing I'm going to do is to stitch half inch on this center back to close this area off so after you must have stitched it then you're going to flip this fabric over to the right side of the fabric and you should have something like this now back to the peplum remember we added volume to the radius of the waistline of this peplum so now we're going to be determining how to pleat it and there's no standard way of pleating this you just have to play around with the pleats to find your desired effect on my own as you can see I did a kiss plate at the center front right here and on the sides I did a single pleat as you can see on both sides then at the back also I also did a single pleat until the waistline is reduced to the amount required that I needed and after the pleating you are going to sew in your waistband just as you would for your skirt or your trousers then this is what it should look like as you can see now next is to sew in your hook and eye and on the wrong side of your waistband at the overlapping area is where you sew the hook and then you turn to the right side of your fabric and at the waistline right here is where you sew in the eye and when you're done with it 
your detachable peplum is ready to wear. See, so fast, easy and simple, yet elegant. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comment on the comment section below. Also check out the link for the waistband tutorial on the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. And yet, if you are yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button below and take care of yourselves. See you guys in my next video. Bye.